What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at my coral haul from Worldwide Corals. Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at my order that I put in with Worldwide Corals and it is a pretty good haul of coral frags. A couple weeks ago I did a video on Tidal Gardens, well today we're going to be taking a look at Worldwide Corals. They probably have some of the most beautiful and vivid corals that are available on the market today. At the end of the video, we're also going to talk about this week's winner of the Ecotech Marine Vectra S1. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. And I want to thank Mr. Brian for being a supporter on Patreon. Brian is awesome. You are the man. Brian has decided to throw his name in the hat on the monthly raffle that we are doing over there. Brian's a part of Salt Nation and helping making videos like this possible. And when I hit my goal of $50 on Patreon, I am going to be doing a Coral Frag giveaway. One of my supporters on Patreon will be getting an entire box loaded with coral frags. And if you want to join Brian in supporting the Mad Hatter's Reef project, there is a link down in the description below. We'll take you to Patreon where you can set your level of support. If this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything saltwater tank related. So if you love saltwater tanks like I do, gently press that subscribe button in the face. All right, guys, so last weekend I was on reef2reef.com and I noticed that Worldwide Corals was doing their Fragtober Fest sale. This was a sale that they had over 1,600 coral frags, which were all on sale. And I already kind of had my mind made up that I was going to be doing an order with Worldwide Corals because this week I was on vacation and I wanted to make sure that if I was going to spend some money on some frags, that I was going to be here to receive them and take care of them when they showed up. So this is what I picked up from them. I ended up buying the Jason Fox Unknown Acropora and the Worldwide Coral Snowdrop. I also added a frag pack which included five Acroporas because I've been on a stick kick lately and I can't shake it. Typically I'm not a big fan of doing frag packs because you're not able to select your coral and a lot of times when you're in a situation like I am currently with my tank which has too much green coral in it you're kind of at the mercy of the person that is filling your order at the store but I was willing to roll the dice with worldwide corals and I lucked out pretty well all five corals were predominantly blue corals which is something that is lacking in my reef tank currently in the beginning of the unboxing I showed you the packing slip which had a breakdown of all five acropores. The first one was the Blue Lagoon, which is a blue-green uh, acropora. Then there was the Yellow Jacket, which is, I was looking for a yellow coral, but it's not. It's actually probably the bluest coral in the bunch. Uh, there was the Blackberry Jam acropora, the Blue Monster acropora, and the Pinecone acropora. All of them are have different sh variations of other colors but are predominantly blue coral. The other two corals were corals that I grabbed from reef to reefcom where uh, Worldwide Corals was doing their live sale and really the structure of this if you're not familiar with it was every 10 or so minutes may even been less than that they would post five corals which had links to that coral on their website and all every single coral was what you see is what you get and basically you and however many other people are watching that page hitting the refresh button over and over again whoever gets to the website and completes the sale on that item wins that item so i already had made up my mind that weekend that i was going to be placing an order with worldwide coral and I had my eye on the snowdrop, which a couple months ago, Mr. Saltwater Tank did a video where he went to Worldwide Corals and they were looking at some beginner friendly SPS corals or acropores. I can't remember specifics of that video. I'll throw a link to that video in the description below. But the gentleman from Worldwide Corals and Mark were talking about SPS corals and then they showed a frag of the snowdrop, which isn't really that pretty. It's not a pretty frag but when it grows into the mother colony it is absolutely stunning and they are a tabling acropora which if you aren't familiar with what that is it kind of grows almost in a plating fashion but it's an acropora and 
a lot of times when you watch a documentary on reefs or even a cartoon on reefs, you see these tabling kind of acro Monty Porter looking things. That's what a tabling acro is. And they are beautiful, in my opinion. And really, they are uh, one of the defining corals of a coral reef. Another thing about the tabling acropores is, at least in my neck of the woods, you don't see them that very often. They're not a typical coral that you see. And I don't know if it is because they're slow growers or what exactly the reasoning behind it is, but they do come with a heavy price tag. The last day of Macna, I was coral shopping, and I went to a couple of booths, and I, I asked them if they had any tabling acropora, and every single piece that I looked at was $100 or more. And when it came to picking coral out from Worldwide Corals, I already kind of had wrapped my mind around the fact that this is going to be expensive. This is going to hurt my wallet, but I was prepared for it, and I basically decided that, you know what, I am going to get the Snowdrop, which was retailing on their website for $110. At that point, I decided, you know, I, if I'm going to spend that much money for one coral, I might as well get a bunch of corals. And with their Frag Pack, which I think sells for $129, or at least it was because it was on sale, I just figured I'd pull the trigger, you know, throw a $200 box together and go from there. So when I was on their website, I noticed that they were having a live sale on reef2reef.com. So I went over there and checked that out and noticed that there was a lot of their name brand corals that were dramatically reduced in price. And not even within 10 minutes of being on that site, a snowdrop dropped, so to speak. And I wasn't fast enough to get it. And it was like $45, which is insane when they're selling it for 110 on their website. Anyways, I didn't get it, and I mentioned it to them that I was bummed. I can't believe I missed this coral. This is, I love this coral. I want it so bad. And they told me that there's going to be plenty more, so stick around. And that's what I did. I think I sat there for two to three hours just hitting the refresh button over and over and over again to see these corals as they drop. I ended up picking up a Jason Fox Unknown Acropora as well, uh, which... I thought it was a good looking coral and it's even better looking in person, which I was really happy with that. And eventually I ended up getting the Snowdrop Acropora for $65. So in the grand scheme of things, what I ended up doing was getting a Snowdrop Acropora and a Jason Fox Unknown Acropora for the cost of what it would be for a Snowdrop full retail price off WorldwideCorals.com. Overall, I'm really happy with what I got for corals, even with doing a frag pack, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, they definitely took care of me and got me some awesome corals. The only thing that I wish that they would have done for me was label the corals in one way or another because some of the variations, I, I got most of it figured out, but there are two variations that are so similar that I'm kind of waiting for them to adjust to my tank and kind of color up to figure out exactly which one's which and the two that i'm confused on is the yellow jacket and blackberry jam they're very similar in colorations one's a little bit more blue than the other and i'm hoping over time that i can figure it out this is the one actually that i think is the yellow jacket uh, but the growth pattern on it looks more similar to the blackberry so again not exactly sure and it just would have made things a little bit easier for me if they would have labeled them and right here is the Snowdrop Tabling Acropora. Absolutely gorgeous coral. Again, like I said earlier, it's not really the prettiest frag, but it grows into an absolutely beautiful mother colony. And when I was placing most of these corals, I tried to keep them as high up in the rock work as I possibly could, just because I know that uh, Worldwide Corals has some decent lighting, and they are probably very used to high strong light high strong flow but all in all i'm very happy with the corals that i got from worldwide corals and if you guys want to check them out i'm going to throw a link in the description below there's no affiliate stuff associated with that uh, they're just a good company and they got great corals and you can see just to the left of the snowdrop the pasta pora making a strong comeback looking good all right, guys, we're all loaded up, and we have the Ecotech Marine Vectra S1 return pump video. We're going to be picking a winner right here, right now. Let's hit that button. Drum roll. Ingloid 1? Ingloid 1? I'm guessing. 
you just won yourself a Ecotech Marine Vectra S1. I'm going to be sending you a direct message via Premium Aquatics. Congratulations. And for those of you who didn't win, here is a brand new contest for you. If you want to learn how to win the Eheim Everyday Fish Feeder, there's a link in the description below. It's going to take you to a video on Premium Aquatics channel. All you need to do is comment, like, and subscribe, and you will be entered to win a Eheim Fish Feeder. You didn't think I knew, did you? All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I want to thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.